In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up chains as bed restraints. So you'll probably want to go to your local hardware store and get some 30 proof coil chain. You can get lighter chain if you want. It looks about like this. Um, but this is really strong and this feels really good. It feels really sturdy. Um, you know, when, you're, when your sub is, is bound in this stuff. Um, it's got it's got some weight to it. It feels really sturdy and anyway You can buy 70 feet of it in bulk for um, I think I paid a little over a hundred dollars for this so it's not as expensive as piecing it out Okay, the other part you're gonna need it's a one-time purchase But you are gonna need some Bolt cutters and buy some good ones. These these are these were probably about 50 50 bucks these are called power links. They have um, they have a, a, a dual action here, so it's it's not like pruning shears. See, it's it's got two different levers going on. Um, so these these cut through it like butter. I mean, let me let me just show you some some pieces here. Um, and I think I mean you can do what you want. Here are some pieces that have already been cut. It, it, it like it, it doesn't really take that much strength for me to cut those but what you should do what I suggest what I like to do with my subs is um, show them I, I keep a little length of chain just a just a test length with a few links on it and I show them the bolt cutters in action and I say here if we get in trouble here's how long it takes to get you out of these chains and then you keep these bolt cutters somewhere in plain view, somewhere where you can get to them quickly so that when you're playing with your sub, if um, in, my, in my case, what, what I like to tell my subs is if they feel any kind of tingling or numbing sensation, any kind of discomfort that's more than just a pinching of the skin, uh, if they feel any sort of nerve pressure from the chains, it's time to stop immediately and fix that. And if it, if it can't be fixed, you know, just by loosening or, or moving the chains, um, then cut them free. Just cut them free. The, the chain is not that expensive. You can go get more chain. You can't go get more um, sub parts uh, with, you know, once you inflict permanent nerve damage. So I'm going to show you a few options here. Uh, option number one, all, all of these lengths of chain run under the bed okay um, in this case I've got I've got a box spring you know and, and a mattress here this is a king mattress um, so the first length I cut it about here so you can see it basically wraps all the way under and all the way across so this is good for you can imagine uh, you know if I need to loop a subs ankles let's say there's gonna be Plenty of slack to do that. In fact, you know, more slack than more slack than you'd actually need, right? Now, let me show you another piece of the puzzle here. Here we have three different chain fastening options. So instead of using shackles or cuffs of some kind, the easiest thing to do is just use one of these chain fastening options to, um, you know, make a loop and, and close it um, so that the sub can't escape. Now. Each of these have some benefits and some drawbacks. Each of them are, in my opinion, better than a padlock because a padlock takes a key or a combo. They take a long time to get on and off, um, and uh, and I, I don't know. They just they just they don't feel as as easy as these. So this is called a D ring, and the way it works is um, this this pin. One side of the D ring is threaded, and the other side is not. I'll see if I can do this one handed here. What I really need is a, is a video tripod or something. Okay, so you can see there, one, one side is threaded, right? And the other side is not. So this goes in, it threads, and you might be wondering, well, uh, you know, couldn't my sub just, just unscrew this? Well, if you hand tighten it, well, first of all, if, if it's in a place where your sub can get to it, then that's, that's you know, step number one um, to eliminate. But I do like to, for the first time I chain my sub, I like to chain up my sub and 
um, just, you know, use a D-ring or something to lock it and just hand tighten it. And then in, in my case, she, I tell, I tell her to escape. I actually let her, I let her mess with it first, first in front of her. And then I, uh, then I lock it behind her back and I have her escape again, finding this little pin. And then I use some uh, snub nose or even needle nose pliers, any kind of plier to crank this tight. Okay, and then I run the exercise with her again. In, hands in front, I tell her to escape, and you will discover quickly if you do that that these get very tight and you can't hand loosen these. There's, there's just, there's no way. It's, it's impossible to uh, hand loosen these once they've been tightened with pliers. So that kind of, that gives your sub a sense of, okay, well, I could get out, but actually I can't get out, right? So that's D-rings. Uh, these quick links work a lot like D-rings. If you like those better, that's fine. Carabiners are a great choice. These spring-loaded carabiners, they, they, they hold up to a lot of pressure. Be aware that it's a, it's a larger link, so you, you know, in order to get a, a, a tight wrap, uh, you'll have to keep that in consideration. And of course, this can only be used where your sub absolutely cannot get to it. So if, uh, if your sub's uh, limbs are, are each restrained, you could certainly use carabiners to do that. Let me show you what it would look like. Now I've gone ahead and measured this out for my wrist. So I've, I've put the carabiner on and now all I would need to do is clamp this over. So let me do that. And that's what it would look like. So you can see that um, that it, it's there, and, and, and I, I really can't I can't get I can't get out of it even if I pull and try to I, I feel like I would need some maybe some grease or something, so I, I can't get out of that even with the carabiner, and yet it's loose enough that, that my circulation's not cut off at all, um, and you know if my wrist were were pulled tight uh, you know uh, from the bed or something, I mean there's no way even if I could mess with that there's 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 nothing I can do to get this undone. Um, so I would suggest putting the carabiner, you know, on top if you can, um, of the of the wrist. And uh, if I wanted to get it a little tighter, you can see how close it is to the next link over. In fact, let me take now. That this in. one here is actually touched such a tight squeeze. It, I could do it, and it would be it would be really tight. Um, but I don't know if I could get it off with just the use of one hand. So I'm not going to put it on and try. And while I'm thinking of it, by the way. This bulk rope, okay. Look at my, look at my finger there. You see, you see that that spot there. There's another spot that just happened on one of my fingers. I don't know. Maybe it was my my thumb. I don't know. Somewhere, somewhere on my thumb or something. Like I, I've I've already gotten caught by a couple little jagged pieces of metal just by running my fingers along the fact wow see I just I just felt one like right there right there there's a little you see that you see I can't I wish I could zoom in more on on this let me see if I can do it um, okay so you see there's there's like a little imperfection there right can you can you see that and it's uh if that catches on your skin that piece of metal see look I can even pull it up like that you see what I'm talking about so Part of the part of the treatment here, especially when you're buying bulk chain, is this. Buy yourself a set of files. Buy some multi-purpose for metal, hardwoods, and more. That way you can do some woodworking with it too. Get yourself a set of files. Go through every length, every link, every surface of this chain and make sure that you remove all of those burrs. Because if you don't, that is going to either catch on you or your sub and you don't want these little pieces of metal in the middle of your session. All right, so backing up a bit, we've talked a little about safety, we've talked a little about um, different ways to uh, link the pieces of chain together. So you can imagine if I'm using this carabiner here, I can link a wrist like that. If I wanna make it tighter, I just link it farther down. I just Pull her arm and and uh, you know link it. Now with chains, unlike with with tie down straps that you can cinch tighter, you're gonna have to get it pretty tight by pulling on your sub and getting them into position in the first place because you can't take up slack in the chain later. So that's one of the sort of beautiful things about 
uh, chain bondage, but it's also one of the differences between chain bondage and uh, strap bondage. You can't take up the slack later. So, um, so naturally chains uh, have a little more slack to them uh, unless you work to get them really tight uh, in the beginning. And with, without using cranks or something like that, all, all you can do is, is go for a, a tight bond from the start. So I have looped this one underneath the bed and um, enough that, that it can go all the way across the bed if necessary. This middle length I've done actually um, double length. So it's looped under the bed and then it comes all the way across to this side and then this side comes all the way across to the other side. So this is a lot of extra slack. You can do probably uh, double, double wraps and things like that with that one. That's the length I prefer. It gives you a lot of options to work with and I'm going to do that on this last one. So on this last one, I've just I've just started. It's coming out of the chain box right now. I haven't wrapped it under the bed yet. The first thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm measuring. So I'm starting the end here and I'm measuring all the way to the, under the uh, other end of the bed. This is the part that's going to go under the bed. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to put it under the corner. Okay, that's been done. I put it under the corner of the bed. I, I put it just, you know, just under the box spring there. And I caught myself again on another piece. So you see you see what's happening here. These little burrs, these little barbs in the chain, they're, they're going to get you if you don't respect them. And then they will get your sub, and then she or he will not respect you. So be sure that you fix that with those files. Um, after I get this on, I'm not so concerned about the parts of the chain that go underneath, but, but if I were really smart about this, if I did it again, I would just... I would just start by pulling it out of the box link by link, feeling, checking each link for quality, filing where I needed to, getting the whole chain prepared, because now I have to file it on my bed, and that's going to leave metal shavings, right? So it's good to uh, prepare the chain first. So, so I've got it anyway. I've got it coming out under the bed here, you see, and I'm just going to pick it up now, and bring it back across, measure it out, just like that, all right, and now here is the magic of this. Let me see if I can just do it one-handed to kind of demonstrate how easy it is, because um, I, I really only need uh, one hand to press down here, so I'll just press down, and yeah, it's hard going into the cushion. Okay, so there, um, that was one side, you see the, the, the break that's been made. And now I'm gonna do the other side of that same chain link. And when I do, this link is gonna go flying like a bullet. So that's another thing to prepare your sub to know is that you know when emergency time happens, um, you're gonna wanna cut a link that is uh, not near her face or his face, um, not near your sub's face, not near your face. And uh, you know, do it quick, make sure that it's not gonna fly off and break a window or something because it will shoot out like a bullet. Where did those pieces go? Here's a piece way over here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if these would leave dents in a wall. They would definitely break glass the way they, they fly out here. Way under the, way under the shelf here. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. But I, I would show your sub that you are capable of breaking these chains uh, when you need to because that's going to make your sub feel a lot more confident in um, in your uh, topping so uh, I think that's about well maybe I'll maybe I'll show you just a, a few more uh, kind of wraps all right so this is an example of how you might uh, restrain your sub uh, in this case my plan is for the sub's hands to go through here, her, her wrists. This, this middle part, this is going to go around her, uh, her, her thighs, right, right up on her inseam, right? Um, now, this is a very 
uh, caretaking restraint to do because there are a lot of blood vessels and veins and and uh, and nerves going through the uh, upper inner thigh there. So I need to be really attentive when I do that part of the restraint. And then her legs will be, her ankles will be going through uh, those two. So in this case, her head will be over here. Or, you know, reverse it and, uh, and put her head at the other end. But anyway, that's one way to uh, do it. Now, let's talk about storage real quick. Storage is pretty easy because um, there's actually, there's so much cushion, you know, these, these box springs go and go. So you can just take these down and put them in. So let me show you what that. All right, I've tucked away one side. You can't see it at all. If I had a little bed skirt, it would be even better, but you can look and you can see the chains under there. In my case, it's lumped up. You could spread it out if you wanted to, but you're not going to feel that at all on the top of this bed. So, um, you know, it turns into kind of a, a vanilla setting when you want it to. The other thing I just wanted to, to show real quick is if you want to, if you have, um, you know, like a, um, whatever this is called, the metal, the metal frame underneath, you can hook some chain to that and bring it, bring it up from, from underneath, right? If you want to do that. This setup that I've shown you, these, these three loops, has used almost the full 70 feet of chain so it's surprising how quickly it goes but um, but it is a lot of fun and if I did anything different I would just I would make all three lengths so that they wrap clear across the bed in each direction that way you have a ton of slack if you need it um, the extra slack isn't gonna isn't gonna bug you uh, you know to to not have it so um, consider that but yeah anyway that's how you do chain bed restraints on a budget.